Yo, 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 today I'm gonna show you how you can skew any CSGO clips to flow with music using only Premiere Pro. Come to grips, I can't really rhyme. But I can make CSGO videos to any music I want, and I mean any music. <laughs> so let's start the tutorial. Hello, it's Sadokist and you're watching Zodiac TV. There are two techniques of syncing I use. Number one, this one begins with the first shot. So I sing the first shot of the gun to the beat. I mostly use those for off shots, pistols, one taps, bursts and sometimes sprays. Second technique is where you sing the exact moment when the bullet killed the enemy. The second one is mostly for sprays. Let's start with the first one. You find the music you like, you listen through it and cut the music up at the beats of the song. It doesn't have to be so precise. For example, at this cut I cut it right after the beat because the frames of the video don't match exactly. It's better to cut after the beat than before it though. Once you're done, add your clips to the timeline. Lock the audio layer, and now we cut the video layer at the exact moment the shot was taken. I usually cut at the exact moment we see the muzzle flare, the fire from the gun. Again here. And here. And now that we have that, we align the shots to the beats of the song. Try to find the strongest beats as it sounds better. At the first shot I'm going to make jump cuts to come to the second track. Basically what I do is cut up and shorten the clip at the beats between the two shots. Make sure to leave a little room before the shot happens and after. I don't like that jump, it's too sudden so I'm gonna change it. Whoa, that actually looks good. Sometimes you get lucky and the actions sync up by themselves. And for the next shot we're gonna use time remapping. I usually move the layer in the action on the upper part of the timeline. And then you right click on the layer, show clip keyframes, time remapping and click speed. I then go to controls and at the exact time of the beat I create a keyframe for the time remapping. And now you just grab the line and pull it down, that's the percentage of the speed. I also stretch the handles a little. And now at the second beat we need to go up in speed again, so do the same but pull it up. There's a lot of space left here and we need to fill it up, one more slow motion would probably do it. And here the clip is too long so we need to do the same thing but instead of going slow we speed it up. But you don't have to use time remapping, you can just use jump cuts. A good example of using jump cuts is a movie maker called Paper C. His movies really flow with the cuts, but that's because he chooses the right music. On the other hand there's Barker and Mito. And they are masters of time remapping, but they work in Sony Vegas and I think it's called Velocity there. So now that the video is in sync, I will pre-render it. Let's take a look.
It's looking good, but it needs one more thing, and that is gun sound. Drag it to the timeline. I usually make it louder so I can see what I'm working with. Let's mute the music for now. And here's where the magic happens. You find the time where the op shot begins and you align that with the exact time of the beat. Yes, exact. See how the shot happens half a frame later? That doesn't matter. The sound needs to match. And what you do is right click on the time of the timeline and click show audio track units. And now you are no longer limited to moving by frames. And here's where you match the op shot exactly to the beat. Repeat the process for every shot and just put an audio power fade transition between the sound cuts. That's it! And as I said, you can use this for op shots, one taps, bursts and sometimes sprays. Now let's go to technique number 2. This one I mostly use with spraying. Let's take a look. See, we didn't start with the first shot, rather the first headshot. The sound should be at the beat, but here it isn't, so I'm gonna fix that. What I also did is made the start of the spray quieter, and then as he hits the first headshot, it becomes louder. I synced every headshot or kill with the beat. And there's a little trick I use. I usually add extra sounds of shots on the beat during a spray so it sounds better. That's it, but what I mostly use is the combination of technique 1 and 2. So it starts with the first shot, but the kill also matches the beat. Try to sync as many clips as you can and you will get better and better. And later you can also sync movements to the music, not only shots, like this. Leave a like if the tutorial was helpful and show me what you made using this tutorial by posting the link of your work in the comment section.